huge congratulations to the brand new celebrity big brother champion Ryan Thomas. Coronation Street and Neighbours star Ryan spent 26 days in the house alongside the likes of Kirsty Alley, Jermaine Pennant and Hardeep Singh Kohli who was with us yesterday and of course dealing with the aftermath of being accused of violence by his fellow housemate Roxanne Pallett. We'll come back to that incident but the first thing I should ask is whether you actually expected to be here as a, as a winner. I just, you know, it's all come as a bit of a blur to me. I, I don't know what's going on. And, you know, I, I signed up for this show and I said to the missus, I'll be home in a few days. And uh, yeah, I was there till the end with a Hollywood movie star. What more can you ask for? Mm. And, and presumably a week ago, because of that whole Roxanne thing, you, you thought you might be going out the house and being met by the police. Well, at the time um, it was all going on, it was obviously something that crossed my mind um, because, you know, in that show you, you, you're cocooned and Have you don't look, really know about it. I don't want to bring it all back, but that is, it's a nothing thing. It's just friendship, that really, isn't it? A bit of shadow boxing. I don't think you even touched her, actually. And, and then, obviously, she then made these allegations. <sighs> You're telling Rory this for the first time, so he's keen to know. Oh, really? Really? I don't know anything about this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, you know, it... Go on! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is it too, too soon? Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's, it caught us all by surprise, especially myself. Um, that house, when something like that happens, can become very um, isolated, for, for, I knew it did for me personally. Yeah. Um, but as it unraveled, um, it was just nice to have, you know, uh, uh, your fellow housemates um, support you. Yeah. And that's how it felt. For, for me watching it, the thing that I didn't quite clock, and, and I, it now explains to me why you were so upset, is that you weren't aware what had been filmed and what wasn't. So for you, when she said, oh, he hit me, Ryan doesn't know that this film showing that he didn't. And that's why, when you were in the, the diary room, you reacted like this. I have seen it. nothing, I've done nothing. Ryan, just take a deep breath for Big Brother. I just don't understand how she can do this. I don't understand it. I've just got to get, I've got to get this show back on the road now and I've got to make for make amends. And... Ah. Had you not seen that? <clears throat> that was tough. <clears throat> well, I've not seen. I'm not. <clears throat> yeah, I've not. I've not seen any of that back. I've not seen anything back. It's just strange because. But that, that's just <clears throat> so. You know, that's so in your face. That that's the thing about it. I mean, it, it's just. It's kind of a metaphor for how something so trivial can be incredibly. The, the thing is, the reason this got such a massive, massive amplification to everyone is that false allegations are a thing now for a lot of people being accused of something you didn't do. And that's why suddenly everyone became aware of this and of, of your upset. And, and at that point, you thought for as far as you knew that you, you were not going to be able to prove you didn't do it. Uh, you, you don't have any idea of what's going on when you're in there. Um, just, just in general, the whole show, you know, that, that's just a tiny bit of my, my journey. Um, you know, you just want your friends and your loved ones with you when something like that happens. Um, but the, the whole process, I mean, people don't realise what Big Brother is. It's, 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 it's tedious. There's, ta there's no element of time. You know, the, the boredom, um, everything is heightened in there. Um, situations are heightened, you know, uh, evictions and uh, nominations become, you know, a, 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 a horrible thing really because mm. you, you end up having to, you know, sort of bits behind people's backs and, you know, and, and, I, and I hate and that And everything's sort of recorded, of the show. Which, yeah. yeah. And I know it has to happen. Everyone knows what, what, what we're doing when we're doing that show. Um, but It's funny because yeah. you, you mentioned the fact that things are heightened and when Roxanne Pallet came into the studio to talk about it, that's, that's the sort of line that she used to say she'd lost control of the situation because, because everything was heightened. We can show you her apology now. I massively apologise to not just Ryan, to his family, his friends, his fans, every single person that watched that and completely unjustifiably 
saw an overreaction to what wasn't a malicious act. Do you accept the apology? Listen, I, I think that um, Roxanne has been through a lot. Um, you know, Big Brother makes headlines and sometimes for the wrong reasons. And I appreciate Roxanne's apology. And I think it's time that we move on and look forward um, and not dwell on the past because I think she's, you know, suffered or suffering enough. Yeah. And I don't want to be a part of that. Okay. So tell us about life on the outside, readjusting. Have you seen Scarlett, your daughter, yet? Oh, I cannot wait to get home today. I'm going to pick her up from school. Um, yeah, it's the final leg of my journey to get home. I'm here for you. All right, so... We're keeping you from I've, your daughter, yeah, are we? You oh are keeping me from goodness. my daughter. This is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, <laughs> I feel bad. Yes, I'll, I'll go down. But yeah, today, that's probably. the next yeah. leg of the journey, to see Scarlett and all the family, my mum and my little ne niece and nephew. Um, I'm so looking forward to getting home to normality. Do you feel for Ryan Maggie being stuck in that place 26 days? <laughs> just, so it was so peculiar, isn't it? Yeah, do you know what, so you're an actor, so you're used to being, having cameras on you, but to be in a situation like that where everything you do is being watched yeah. and judged, how on earth do you not change your behaviour to ensure that, you know, effectively you're liked outside? This is the problem, it's 24 hour watch, isn't it? And you can't hide away from the camera. And you know, I put this show off for a long time, it's not something that I wanted to ever do. Um, and you know, the world's changing now, you know, reality's becoming the norm and I know that it's something I was always scared of showing the real me. You know, we I've been playing a character for 16 years and to put myself under that spotlight was a risk. So you can't just act the whole time. Do you go, if you go in there as an actor, I'm just wondering, can you do 26 days of acting 24 seven? Can you maintain that? You know, not be lying. I, 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 I don't believe you can. Um, I, I don't believe you can hide away from the camera. You think, Rory? Well, they, and they don't want you to. This, this, I think we're no. playing with fire here because, you know, they, they, they're trying to break you. In the, I mean, in the old days, you know, they had Bedlam where people would literally, for their entertainment, would go to the mental hospitals in, and, and watch them. And this is a kind of the same, it's, it's, it's prurient, it's voyeuristic. And, you know, this, I feel profoundly uncomfortable seeing mm. your pain and, and in a different way seeing what mm. Roxanne because you know clearly she is, is has vulnerabilities mm -hmm. and and now these are being exploited and just <sighs> the whole thing gets so out of hand that it just it, it just leaves me profoundly uncomfortable on the upside we've been talking about impressions all, all day and and he does a very good Jeremy Vine you were subdued at the moment um, but, but you were you were doing some in the house, so let's just have a look here. Oh no! Okay, <laughs> look into my ball. I can see numbers, not the right numbers. And what we're going to say about Hardy? <laughs> Well, anything to pass the time. Oh, I you, guess. You, you try living with that snoring. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was he in yesterday or the day before? I got the, the days blended to one, but he's, yes, it was, that's a good impression. Good old Hardy. Monday was in. So, what's next for you? Uh, you know, it, my manager's just telling me this and that, and I, I, I have no idea. You know, I, I think I just want to get home first, and I, I've not really had time to digest any of it. And, um, you know, haven't seen the show and people tell me this, tell me that. And, you know, it, it, there's a lot of, there's a lot on the table, but right now it's, it's not important to me. You know, we, I, we, I, I think we'll make that decision at a later Kevin. date. Right, would you like to go for a cup of tea with Roxanne and sort of, you know, draw a line under it by chatting about it and then you move on or that's do Kevin you think that's it? That's Kevin from yeah, the Daily Mirror. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you from the Daily Mirror, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it, it, it's, it's something now looking forward. Mm. It, it's not something I want to dwell sure. on. And I don't really want to think about it in a negative. Um, mm. It's so important to think positive now and um, try and take the best from this experience, not the bad, because people don't realise that, you know? So you don't want to see her again? Um, there's nothing to say I don't want to see her again. I think she's mm. got you know, a lot to deal with at the moment, and so have I. My priority is family. Um, no offence to Roxanne, but, you know, I have, you know, a daughter that is, is now something I want to concentrate on, and it's not my first priority, but it's right. not something I haven't thought about. Um, th there's a great, I think this is an encouraging headline in the mail, about your, your prospects now, and the fact that you're going to make not a million, but millions, they say. Really? 
This is yeah. great news. <laughs> Amazing! So, the, the, That's the best headline I've ever heard. <laughs> and, and I know you could, really? pay, you could pay TV licenses. For <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the plan, right? We hadn't told you. We hadn't Fantastic. told you. If you, go, if you make 725 million, that's the TV license. <laughs> <laughs> they point out in their article that five years ago you, you were made bankrupt, so you're building back from that, and it takes a while, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not something I'm proud of, but you know what it is? You know, you, you, when I was 16 and I had so much money and you know, I used to pay for all my friends to go here and, you know, I've been so generous with my money, uh, you know, it, I, I felt like it just grew on trees at the time. I just had no appreciation for it. You know, I'm 34 years old now and times have changed and, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a big responsibility and you, you, you're, not, you're not looking after yourself anymore. You have someone else to look after and, you know, I want to provide for her and, you know, I think... Um, I've learned to put the money away from the tax man now, put it that way. And, um, you know, I think it's a massive lesson learned. And I'm, you know, reading these articles and I'm hoping my dreams come true. Um, but we'll, we'll see. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's all good news, hopefully. Well, good luck. And thank you so much for coming in to see us today. Before seeing your daughter, I can't believe that. You have a great time at yeah, home. You're in her bad books. I know. We'll listen. <laughs> We're going to leave it there. Thanks to Ryan. Thank a pleasure to meet this man. <laughs> Congratulations on the great victory. Very popular man.